So you know what I learned from watching this film? Don't kill Keanu Reeves' dog or else he'll shoot you in the fucking face. John Wick, fuck yeah. In the same week as he loses his wife to a terminal disease, retired man John Wick finds a glimmer of joy in her dying gift of a scrappy little dog. However, his happiness is cut short by a gang of Russian thugs who beat him down, kill his dog, and make off with his classic muscle car. However, Yusuf Tarazov learns from his crime boss father that he fucked with the wrong man, a notorious ex-hitman of the highest caliber. Now the New York criminal underworld is shaken into action as John Wick unleashes a non-stop tidal wave of revenge, taking out anyone who gets in his way. So yeah, we might be in the middle of Forever Horror Month and I'm all fucking passionate and excited about that, but you give me a fucking action movie. I'm fucking there because I love action movies. I love Keanu too. I mean, I got that... I, I kept the poster in the background just for this video. I love Keanu. I love Point Break. I love fucking Constantine, The Matrix. I got it on Blu-ray. I'm going crazy. I'm going off the deep end because I love this fucking movie. John Wick is a fantastic action thriller that does absolutely everything I love about an action movie and does it better than anything that regularly does its stuff. Like the, like the Expendables movies. They try to be this throwback to 80s action movies. This movie is a throwback to really good fucking 80s action on a completely different style and scale and just like so many things just impressed the living shit on me with this film. I'm gonna start with the cast. I'll get to all the other fabulous, flashy, great stuff, but like I said, I love Keanu. I love a lot of his stuff. Bill and Ted, like Point Break and all this other stuff that just flying out of my head. I just love him in so many things. I even in this movie where he wasn't very good. Don't put him in an English accent. He's not very good with it. But you put him in an action film where he gets to kick some fucking ass and Keanu Reeves is fucking great. And this is possibly one of his best action movie roles ever. Beyond just the badassery, there is just the, the great setup with this character in the film because got this wife who was terminally ill and she dies one day and then the whole film starts off with she's dead there's the wake there's the funeral and then that night he gets the package from his dying wife this dog that just brings him this great glimmer of hope and happiness and then that is soon snuffed out by these rushing gangsters and you see Keanu Reeves just goes off the fucking deep end but it is that great setup with the character where you get to see Keanu Reeves actually emote very strongly in the first several minutes of this film. Just like he breaks down in fucking tears and is like, this is compelling. The setup for the whole thing is very compelling and sells the whole idea behind it that. You see it in the trailers, it might seem a little kind of comedic or whatnot that they killed my dog so I'm going to go murder boatloads of fucking people. But you get the setup with the emotional connection with it that this wife that he has is the reason why he left all the, the blood and murder behind him as a hitman. And then she gets sick and they battle through this illness for a long time. And then she just drops dead essentially one day and he's just completely grief stricken. This dog comes in and that's this final gift from his dying wife just like takes the last bit of humanity, last bit of heart and soul from just rips it away from these fucking assholes. And Keanu Reeves is just completely awesome in this movie as this fucking hitman who just kicks ass at every single thing. It's like, the guy is practically pretty much about 50 years old now, pretty much the same age as Tom Cruise, and Keanu Reeves is fucking amazing as a physical actor. I don't think there's a lot of stuntmen in this film filling in from. I think he is absolutely doing a lot of this great physical action in this film, and he's just everything they do with this character. Just the uh, all the little beats of humor in this film are just absolutely fantastic. Just fantastic humor. It's entertaining stuff that just oh, it just adds so much more to this film. Just had those little beats of levity and humor and sly wit and everything. Just adds so much to the enjoyability factor of this movie. 
But getting back on point, it just Keanu Reeves is intense and visceral and just fucking icy cold motherfucker in this movie. This guy is precision, badassery, hitman, just laying waste. His body count is fucking off the fucking scales in this movie. This guy is massacring people all over the fucking place. And still taking time, because he loves his headshots. He loves burying a fucking bullet in your fucking forehead that he will stop, reload the gun, just to shoot you in the fucking head to make sure absolutely that you are fucking dead. This guy is, John, the character of John Wick is greatly written in this thing, just, this is the action hero that we've been waiting for for so long. This type of character, beyond just the actor portraying him, the character is fucking awesome. But the rest of the cast this film is just absolutely, fantastically perfect. When I just looked over the, the credits of this film, just like, Willem Dafoe, Ian McShane, Dean Winters, the list goes on. There's so many great actors in this film, and everyone is putting forth such a greatly entertaining, well-fleshed-out type of character performance that every character is so enjoyable, so so well-written in that great classic, sort of almost 80s-style of action movie that all these characters, this menagerie of characters in this sort of great sense of world-building, there's so many things that are just laying a great foundation of an expansive world that these characters live in, this criminal underworld with all these eclectic characters and all this kind of stuff that just work very well beyond just a single story's demands. It's just great casting all the way through and everyone just is having a great time in this movie. I just, I could just go on and on about every single one of these characters. I just loved Ian McShane's character, this guy who uh, runs this sort of nightclub hotel that's kind of a, a front sort of a a safe house haven for criminals and hitmen and everything there. That is kind of like no one does any business here. They just kind of go here to rest and relax and have a place, a piece of shelter. So everyone who breaks the rules or kind of gets in on his bad side. And he's just a fantastic actor and this great character just like kept popping up in the film at the right times. I just loved what he did. Everyone in this thing just does such a wonderfully fantastic entertaining performance and a good action movie needs to have a good villain and Michael Nyquist is having a relishing good time in this role of Vigo the father of the guy who originally fucks with John Wick who kills his dog steals his car this guy's having a great time in this movie he has such great clever smart bits of humor and intimidation it just makes this role so much relishing, fun, enjoyable, satisfying stuff. Everyone does this type of thing in the film, and just like they're so into the roles, they're so well-written, nothing's cliched here. Even so, like John Leguizamo does a great job in this film, this very small role of a guy who owns a body shop, and the Russian gangsters bring the car to him, and like, I know that fucking car. You fucked with the wrong guy, get the fuck out of here. And he's not intimidated by these sort of Russian punks and whatnot, it's like, it's great, refreshing stuff. No one just, like, falls into the standard, tired, cliche type of thing you see. It's, like, it's not expected. Everyone just does a great job with the performance. All the characters are extremely written well. Just, like, it's just such a fun movie. Such a fun movie that just doesn't bore you. It doesn't go for anything tired. It just keeps everything so fresh and so fun and so entertaining. Everyone does such a fantastic job in this cast. I just go on and on to the ends of the earth about everyone in this thing. Great stuff from every single actor in this movie. This movie, thank fucking God. Because you know me. Anyone's watched enough of these action movie reviews I do is like, I cannot stand shaky cam, quick cut editing. Thank goodness. This one has nothing to do with that crap. These are beautifully well composed, confidently shot and edited, action sequences where you can see exactly what the hell is going on in every single moment. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This is a wonderfully shot film. This thing is amazing to watch. Just to look at this film is beautiful with all living hell. This thing is oozing with style and atmosphere and mood. Oh man, especially in the nightclub sequences, this thing is just drenched in so much, just beyond just the visuals, the auditory sensation and everything with the 
fabulous soundtrack this thing has. Just like this thing has style coming out of every single frame of it, every single little bit of score and everything, every bit of soundtrack, everything is just so wonderfully composed and put together in such a beautiful, striking, gorgeous, and fucking badass package in this film. Just there is just so much great action in this movie that shit that you just don't see anymore that people are just like they're indulging themselves in that this is an action film that's going right for the hard R not pulling anything back this is a fucking action movie the way an action movie is supposed to be done that so many people are afraid to even bother to go this far I love this fucking movie this action in this movie is just fucking badass just like all the stuff that we got going on with John Wick in this thing that this guy is just a precision badass machine just man this guy's like a lot of people have been comparing a lot of elements in this film to Collateral which you know me I love fucking Michael Mann I love that movie too and I can definitely see the parallels of sorts to the John Wick character the, to Tom Cruise's Vincent and the nightclub sequence in this thing where just like he's just mowing people down taking people down violent badass ice cold shit on this thing just like oh my god this movie i would love to do a very calm analytical type of thing but this movie is just like i want to motivate you to see this movie because i want to go see this movie again this movie is fucking badass it was fucking awesome it just every little thing in this film with the great humor the great characters the badass awesome action the fucking atmosphere this thing has with all the great beautiful colored lighting in this thing just like everything is just so fantastically composed so fantastically written and executed this film doesn't miss a step it never falls off never slips and never just goes off the deep end in the wrong ways the characters are fantastic john wick as ken reese portrays them is just awesome character just everything i just go through everything point by point little bit by little bit there's just so much great stuff to behold in this film that you just should go out and see it instead of watching me talk about it anymore. It's just the fact that this is such a great, fresh action movie in a, in a time where you don't get great action movies. You get a lot of superhero films and a couple other things. You don't get just a bare bones, right to the meat of everything fucking action movie that just goes right for the throat, goes right for everything just indulges in all the badass, hard-hitting, hard edge type of stuff that I love in an action movie. And I love that this character, he's not an unstoppable force. This John Wick gets fucking stabbed, he gets shot, he's bleeding, he's got stitches. It just makes for a much more interesting character overall and makes more, adds more peril to the whole thing that you see this guy's getting fucked up in a lot of cases for by a lot of people, but still able to slip through and trying to get through things and uh, just so much smart, fun, entertaining, energetic type of stuff in this film. Just clever, clever story and everything. Just everything's just so great. Just lean, mean, badass revenge film. And what else now do I need to say about this movie that's going to motivate you to go fucking see it? Because if we can get more movies like this, hard R, badass, all the way, going all the way, not pulling any punches. Fuck yes! This is a good example of this, a tremendously good example of it. You should go see this film if you love action movies at all, period. If you just love having a great, badass, hard hour time at the theater, go fucking see this movie! Do it now! So, <laughs> I'm not gonna go on any further. If you've seen John Wick, please tell me if you love the movie, what you thought of it. Fuck, I just want to go on and on and on and ramble to the ends of the earth because I just loved every little thing this film had to offer. Cinematography, music, every fucking thing, just perfect package. Go see it. So before I drag myself on any further, try to think of something else to say to praise and gush over this film, I'll just say post your comments below, hit some like buttons with the big old thumbs up, and uh, There'll be a bit more Forever Horror Month to come. Some stuff still in the queue. But I had to talk about this movie. And uh, next week we get something that looks like even more fucking insane, fucking awesome shit with Jake Gyllenhaal in Nightcrawler. 
I would love it if this is like a one-two punch of complete badassery, insane motherfucker shit. Fuck yes, John Wick. Counter Reeves will shoot you in the face, shoot everyone in the fucking face. This fucking inventive, awesome fucking action movie. Go see it. Stop watching me. Go out. Now. Take care. Bye-bye.